far back in time, beyond the borders of memory, the earth and the sky lay together, and a son was born to them. He was the first of the gods, and for his mate, he fashioned a woman from red clay and quickened her with a seed of life. From their union came man, whose spirit was immortal, but whose body was dust. This was the Maori legend of the earth, the sky, and man. Hongi Tepe, chieftain of his tribe, loved the legends of his race. But remembering them, his mind was troubled. He knew the law of life. To live, one must fight and kill or be killed. And yet his heart longed for peace. And his restless soul asked the everlasting question. Must revenge and murder always creep unseen in the night? Will only the dawn bring safety from the axe of the warrior? And his only answer was the whispering of the wind in the great trees of the forest. This was New Zealand at the turn of the 19th century, where Philip Wayne, first mate of the English sailing vessel Beckett, landed with the boatswain, Paddy Clark, to look at this strange new land. Nonsense. Look, you know I was years on the whalers around these parts. I know what I'm talking about. Philip! I haven't much. 
jump ship. Look at that. Beautiful. Where are they taking us? Hell, by the look of it. Hey, look! What is he, the, the chief? Uh, Tohunga, most likely. A sort of high priest. Where's he going now? That'll be the chief's house. He'll decide what to do with us. Well, tell him it'll bring them all kinds of bad luck if they harm us. I've already told them that. Hey, Te'iwi! Wakarongo mai! Kiti fara maua! Ka a teo! Kuto! Te'iwi! Wafakaya hongi tepe! Me fakataitae! A te rangiru rao kata pakeha! He says we've already caused harm by barging in on that burial ground. Eki eki! Eki eki! Wadahi mato kaki te mehemea, e tohunga lanei koe, koru up, ti e yanga lanei. Eri ru harimai. As far as I can make out, they're going to test whether I'm a god or not. Hotu! Ah! Na koe ni te mutinga te koe tāhoe a popo. Kei kona hongi? Waku! Kaku ka hege te pakeha! There's going to be some sort of a race tomorrow. Across the river, finishing here where the chief will be standing. Their best swimmer, this fella, Rongi Ruru, starts right behind with a green stone dagger in his mouth. If he catches up, he uses it. But you can't swim. I don't have to. It's not polite to make a god swim. You swim from here into that bay. Down there? He'll beat the gong twice. First time you dive, then Rangi Ruru. Pareha Patua! Kiyomo! Hide it! Trip me, you gritty ape. <laughs> Why did you do that? Now they'll kill us both. Look out! <laughs> Yeah, you've done it. Get out of the way. Hey, 
Parker. Hi, Parker. It's all right. The chief says you're his pakaya, his white man. He has adopted you. Oh, has he? <laughs> now, that's a great honor. No, 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 no. Leave him alone. He only wants to make friends. <laughs> <laughs> Next door. Come on in, girls. Well? Well? How'd you sleep? Like a top. And you? Fine. Uh, no interruptions? Hmm. Did you send them along to me, Hut? I'm getting married when we get back. You're not. I didn't think you'd mind. I um, hope you weren't rude to them. Me? I show them every English courtesy. Hide am I? <laughs> Hide am I? Hide am I? I think she's saying the chief wants to see us inside. His old father is sick, and he wants to look in you before he dies. Are you sure? Well, I didn't get it all, but that's the idea. Tomaka. She's the chief's wife. All right. Hi, Ramira. It's Otto. Kia Tēnā nō kōrua. Neke mai, neke mai. E noho ki raro. He wants you to sit down so that the old man can see you and remember you. E koro, kua tai mai anō ngā pāpehane. E tomo mā. Pākehā pai. He approves of you. E tomo mā. He is talking of war. Two days ago, they defeated their enemies, the Apiti tribe. E koro. E te hua o te pakanga. Father, why must we go on killing? E hongi. Aole koe mohi. When the time is ripe, the answer will come to you. How will it come? Ko te tohu, wairua. He tangata nei anō. On its two legs after I'm gone. Ki te au i moi i takut. I shall meet with this answer before, my son. He says you'll return. Your stranger's knowledge will put an end to this killing and bring peace. He gives you the land near the sea as a token of his friendship. But I'm not... Thank you all the same. Who are they? Apathy chieftains, prisoners, I suppose. Well, what are they going to do to them? We'll know in a minute. They're insulting them. 
And now the chief's wife is going to dance at them. Another sort of insult. Tells them they're not real men. Poor devils. It's one of their customs. says that anyone who grows strong enough to seize the land of others must suffer for it. Oh, a Maori partner! Oh, what was that? Ah, oh, nothing. Come on, now tell me. Whether they be Maoris or white men. Oh, look at that, between us. Peace. I wonder where Hongi Tepi learned that word. He wanted to tell me that if I came back here, I should live in peace. Now look, it's taken you five years to save up enough money to get married. Now you are going to live in peace, at home with Marion. And not with a lot of blasted cannibals. They're the same as any other people, a mixture of good and bad. Very nice of you to come back, Mr. Mate. It's a pleasure, Captain. Where the devil have you been all this time? Look lively, if you please. We sail in ten minutes. Now, Mr. Wayne. Yeah. Get away from here, you blasted savages. I don't want any more of your presence. You are my head older. He says it's for you, sir. Wait! You fool! Are you insulted? Shame you did that, sir. Honor's only given you 50 guineas for it. Back home. Prepare to make all sail. Oh, Swain. I'm dressed 
ashore yet? Oh, we don't get to Tilbury for another six hours. How'd you like me to put you ashore here, eh? Yeah? Your young woman teaches at a school in Rochester, doesn't she? Oh, yes, I know, but... You save you going all the way up to London and then getting back again. You'll be with her this afternoon. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Good man. Never keep a lady waiting. <laughs> oh, um... There's one thing. I want you to take a box ashore for me. Leave it at the Bull in Rochester. I'll have it collected later. Well, what's in it? Silk shawls. Present for the wife. Got them in India. <laughs> no point in paying duty unless you have to, eh? Well, what happens if I meet an excise officer? You won't down here. But uh, if you do, just give them these. They'll be happy. You're seeing your girl, aren't you? All right. Can I take Burson Clark with me? He lives in Rochester. <laughs> Splendid idea. Now right, go and get yourself respectable. Patty! <laughs> I tell you, it's, it's just presents, I mean, silk shawls. Open it up. You're only wasting your time. You heard the evidence against you. You have also heard the verdict of the jury. The evidence of Captain Bryce and the various members of the crew of the Beckett was overwhelming. Whilst His Majesty's government seeks to develop these far off lands and their peoples for our common good, men like you, thinking only of your own greed and gain, bring the very name of England into disrepute throughout the entire world. I therefore order that neither of you shall ever serve on a British ship again. And I sentence you, Wayne, to pay a fine of 500 guineas, and you, Clark, to pay a fine of 250 guineas. The alternative being imprisonment for four years for you, Wayne, and three years for you, Clark. Take them away. Now, Marion, perhaps at last you realize that there can be no question of your marrying this... this monster. Patty, as soon as I finish this letter, I want you to take it round to Miss Salty. There's no need, Philip. Marion. May I? Look, you shouldn't have come here. My dearest love, after what has happened, I feel that I can no longer expect you to marry me. I have paid the fines, but now I'm going away. Please forgive me and believe that I love you with all my heart. Philip, you didn't... No. Take me with you. What? Uh, I can't. I... Patty and I are going back to New Zealand. To settle there? Yes. I shall have a chance there, a fair chance to start again. I shan't get one here anymore. Besides, I've been given some land. Land? Yes, by one of the Maori chiefs. I'd like to show that judge just how wrong he was. New Zealand's a wild place, but a man can breathe freely there. There's room to move and a chance to build. Philip, do you still want to marry me? You know I do. But what's the use? I couldn't get any work. I couldn't even give you a roof over your head. 
you could build one. What? You just said so. Marion. You mean you'd come with me? I love you too, Philip. Wilt thou, Philip Wayne, have this woman, Marion Southey, to thy wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? I will. Wilt thou, Marion Southey, have this man, Philip Wayne, to thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? I do. Reception. Nothing else was needed. Just you. When we've seen him, we'll come back and fetch Matt. Keep us steady. Two points to starboard. All right, sir. Have a look through that, man. It'll give you a better idea. Look, what's that? It's a canoe by the looks of it. I believe it's Hongi Tepe's father. Yes. I've heard of this before. When a great chief dies, they give him this sort of funeral. They send him off alone to the west, towards the sun. Do you remember what he said about the answer coming on two legs? And about his meeting with it before his son? I don't know which of it he meant. Let's go, Gordon, stop it, actor! Oh, my God! 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 Tēnā korua. Are mai. Tēnā koe tama. He says you are very welcome and he's glad you've come back. Tell him I'm grateful and happy to meet with him again. E hongi. Tēnā koe. Kua ki te nei ano tatu, ia tatu. Ai, no mai ano koe. No mai korua i roto i te iwi Māori. Tēnei tō korua hoa, arangiruru. E kaina te tau. There was another battle with the Apiti. Rangirura got wounded. He is now sick in the head and only cares for the Tao. Peace.
It's ready. Thank heaven for that. Haven't you two done enough for today? I'm afraid it'll be another couple of days before we get that roof on. That's a pity. I was hoping it'd be ready for Hongi Tepe's first visit. He's coming. No, he should be here now. He is. <laughs> now, ma'am, I wouldn't. Oh, that's all right. They're not well. Hongi Tepe. Hongi Tepe. It's all right. Bless me. Maori's drinking tea. Well, it's just a woman to do that. Now, will you say that? And the earth brought forth... Uh, grass. Grass. This from God also? My enemy? No. Then my friend. It shouldn't have been left out here. You wife, Christian. She is. You Christian man? Of course. Christian man, man of peace? Yes. Goodbye. Is anything the matter, Philip? I wish Alaroa hadn't seen this thing. Paddy was cleaning it this morning when you told him to harness the horse. He must have forgotten it. Well, he'd no right to forget a thing like that. Philip. Look, somebody has to give orders and somebody has to see that carried out. I mean, if this sort of thing goes on when other settlers arrive... I'm sorry. Come in out of the sun. You're... You're still glad you decided to come. Oh, yes, Philip. Yes. It's growing, isn't it? All the time. It's not just the house and the plowing, not just the things we do with our hands, but the idea behind it all. The reason we decided to come here. 
to get away from the old country. To try and make a new one. Guess what I just seen? Well, the Beckett. The old Beckett. She's anchored in the bay about 10 miles up the coast. The Beckett? Well, as far as I'm concerned, she can stay there. Ah, oh, come on. I never knew the sailor that could resist the look of his old ship. Come on. There she is. What's that? They aren't Hongi Tepe's men. Their bodies are stained with red. They're the Apathy. Hongi Tepe's old enemies, remember? Well, what do they want with the Beckett? Hurry, get in the barrier! Hurry, where's the captain? Kasi. Hey, I'm going to go to the barrier. Hey, I'm going to go to the barrier. Hey, I'm going to go to the barrier. He says that's their chief, Takua, a great fighter. He's taking a present to the captain of the Beckett. In that basket? Come on, let's get that boat. on with your trade, Captain, I see. How dare you come bursting in here, you blasting jailbird? Watch them, Paddy. I'll fetch the mate. Oh, no, you don't. Paddy! Get the mate! Up here, Captain. And his property. This time he won't get anyone else to take him ashore.
hope to see you again. You have a good voyage. Aye, a very smooth voyage. Doesn't seem like six months. So, my character is blameless, hmm? I went to the trial. Bryce hadn't any spark left after what you did to him. He confessed to perjuring himself. So you got a free pardon and the refund of your fine. You don't seem very impressed. I wasn't thinking of the money. That's not much use out here. What I need is men, and not the kind whose only idea is to make the Maoris sweat while they take it easy. Why doesn't the government realize what can be done out here? I think they leave it to the people on the spot. But they don't forget them. How would you like to be a justice of the peace? A JP? A me? Why not? I should think it's the least they could do. Now, there's a couple of men of the type I think you want. All right, ma'am, we'll do it for you. Give us a hand, Wishart. Thank you. Who are you? Sergeant Paul, late of the King's Artillery. At your service, ma'am. This is Mr. Peter Wishart, late of a solicitor's office in Lincoln's Inn. We've come to settle, ma'am. I'm sure that my husband will be as pleased as I am that you've decided to settle here with us. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Wishart, would you come with me to the house? I think it's the heat. I, I fear... Uh... Miss, Mrs. Wayne, what is it? Would you call my husband, please? Mr. Wayne! Mr. Wayne! Marion! Marion, are you all right? Yes, darling. I'm all right. beseech thee for thine infinite mercy that thou wilt mercifully look upon this child Richard wash him and sanctify him with the Holy Ghost so that he may be received into the ark of Christ's church through Jesus Christ our Lord Amen 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 This grows. If the tree bears fruit, the child will be a great man in a great land. <laughs> Oh! 
Come on! Come on! Quite like home. Aye. There should be a law against Bairns crying. You'd better ask his father to make one. He's the JP now. He's what? Hey! Hey, you! There was a letter came by the last ship. Justice of the Peace for the District by command of His Majesty. Oh, aye. Does no matter where a Scotsman goes, he'll like find an Englishman trying to make the laws for him. <laughs> aye, and wearing himself out trying to see they're obeyed. The Colonial Office say they're sending out a dozen more men in the next voyage. That'll be a help. Well, it's good news, isn't it, Marion? Marion. I'm sorry, Philip. What did you say? Oh, it doesn't matter. Come in. Good morning. How's Mrs. Wayne? How's Richard? Oh, he's fine, thank you. What the devil are you doing with that? I wanted to do some shooting. I came to ask your permission. Is Sergeant Paul going with you? Oh, no, he, he's busy on the new houses. But it's my free afternoon. Wishart, I told you before, you're not to go out with a gun alone. But I only wanted to try and get some extra rations. You heard what I said. Do you understand or don't you? Yes. He did come to ask your permission. Was it necessary to be quite so abrupt? The RPT want guns. If they get them, anything can happen. He's got to learn how to obey orders. Perhaps you should learn how to give them, Philip. Well, what do you mean by that? I don't think we can afford to quarrel among ourselves. I must get off on that survey of the ground on the east part of the river. I shan't be back for two or three days. Philip. Yes? Take care of yourself. I saw our river just now. Well? The chief of the Arpity was with them. They were watching our fellas work. There's nothing wrong in that, is there? I thought I'd tell you. It seems rather odd to me, seeing as how the two tribes are always trying to wipe each other out. Oh, perhaps they're learning some sense at last. Now, don't start imagining trouble, Paddy. Imagine it. I hope you're right. I say I hope you're right.
Вон она. Is the word of your God stronger than the acts of your enemy? In the end, it is stronger. He said of the woman taken in adultery, let him without sin cast the first stone. It was just. In your country, you do not kill these women? No. Then what they do is right? No. If it is not right, who will punish them? I believe they make their own punishment. Oh. Your religion is hard. It is much easier to punish than to forgive. If you forgive, you have no remorse, no regrets. And a little satisfaction. Honga Tepe came to watch me painting this morning. More questions about religion? Rather an immodest one for me. He wanted to know all about the woman taken in adultery. But I only hope that what I told him has helped to save some woman's life. Hey, Philip. Young Miss Hart. He's gone off hunting by himself. He's taken one of the guns. He's alone?
What do you think's happened to him? Well, we shall know as soon as Paddy gets back. You're not to worry too much, Philip. Marion, there's something I must tell you. Yes, darling. I've done something I regret. And I'm bitterly ashamed. Will it help you to tell me? I must tell you. Otherwise... Mr. Wayne! Have you found him? No, the Maoris have got him. He killed Rangi Ruru. Shot him dead. We shot? Killed him? Yeah, I saw the place. They left a man there, sort of a guard. He told me. Well, where is he now? They took him back to that village. Well, what's going to happen? What are they going to do to him? That depends upon Hongi Tepi, ma'am. Paddy, see that everyone sleeps in the big house tonight. You'll have to take turns to keep watch. I'm going down to the village. Philip! I'll go and tell the others, ma'am. It's the only thing to do. Philip, before you go, what was it you wanted to say to me? Oh, that'll have to wait until I get back. But, Philip, be careful, my darling. Have you also come to kill? I have come for this young man. You can have him when we've finished with him. You can bury him, as we shall bury. Rangiruru. Rangiruru was my friend. I thought the Maori was my friend, too. You take the Maori's life. You take his land. Soon the Maori will be no more. Go away from here. You have used up your friendship. Say we Maori. He attacked me first. The gun went off when we were struggling. I didn't mean to kill him. I swear that's true. Rangi Ruru is dead, and I mourn for his spirit. But let not that same spirit mourn for the injustice of his own people. Injustice? What injustice? That a man should be condemned without being heard. Rangiruru was the first to attack. This man only wished to defend himself. Can it be seen from this? Whose hand made it fire? There is no way of telling, but Rangiruru made the attack. The voice of Rangiruru is stilled. The Pakha lives and can lie. Is this the justice of the white man? To call the Maori friend and brother, and then to kill? First Rangiruru. Who will be next? Okwe, okwe, okwe. Katata, katua. Chief of this great tribe. Let Hongi Tepe rid his heart of bitterness. Then, if he knows this man to be guilty, raise his hand. Hongi Tepe is a great chief. But so is the white chief of my country across the seas. By his name on this paper, he gives to me, Philip Wayne, the power to see that justice is done to his people in this part of your land. I swear to you, by the word of my king, that this man shall be tried by his own kind, and if he is found guilty, will be punished according to the laws. 
He is my prisoner. I shall send him in a ship to his place of trial. On this I make my promise and pledge you my word. Thank you, Mr. Wayne. You are wonderful. You killed a man. You're under arrest and I'm sending you for trial. But we've won, haven't we? We've won. Have we? loaded down with flowers and fruit. That can mean only one thing. Tokua is making peace with Hongi Tepi and they'll be there tonight. Now, it needn't necessarily be bad news. You've always hoped for peace among the Maoris. Hongi Tepi was our friend. Tokua knows this. That's why he's never dared to attack us. But if he ties Hongi Tepi to a peace treaty between their tribes, then Tokua has a free hand with us. your lunch. Did you ask Mr. Wayne if I could leave my hut? No go, no go. He says you're under close arrest and you leave here. Reckon yourself lucky. There's more sorts of jails. I know I've been in them. But how long, how long shall I have to wait? Mr. Wayne has sent a message with the native up to Breakaway Harbor. There's a brig there. He wants it to come down here and pick you up. At least that's the excuse. What do you mean? Look, son, we need that brig for more reasons than getting rid of you. If you ask me. What are they doing? Playing seashells. Well, I don't understand. You can't walk over a thump of seashells without being heard, can you? Ah. No more can anyone. Not even Maoris. You mean you think they might try to attack the settlement? Well, Mr. Wayne thinks so. Because of me? I didn't say that! Now, look! Mr. Wayne, you must let me help. After all, I'm responsible for all this. I must do something. I give you my word not to try and escape. Where the devil does he think he could go anyway? We could do with him, sir. I'll make myself responsible for him. All right. Start digging a hole there. Big enough to hold a man with a rifle. We'll need four in a semicircle round here. That you are, sir. I'm going to see about strengthening the house. We'll all sleep up there tonight. What's that for? Richard's defences. I've been planning them for a long time. Just in case we need them, or we're too busy to look after him. Oh, I've never heard of such a thing. Well, it's a situation that doesn't often arise. It won't this time. I've asked for the brig to come down from Breakaway at once. When it arrives, it'll take you and Richard away. No, Philip. Now, listen, Marion. I don't think that anything will happen, but it might. And if it does, you and Richard must not be found here. Now, you will go, please. But why? I'm married to you. This place is part of me as well as you. I belong to it. What we have, we share. And Richard? He belongs here. Marion. Well, 
Before I went to get young Wishart, I tried to tell you something. Yes. I've not kept faith with you, Marion. Mac? Do you think anything will happen tonight? Well, not having my crystal ball with me, laddie, I wouldn't like you hazard, I guess. That's why you want to get rid of us. Because of the girl, Moana. No. How stupid women are when they're in love. They believe anything they want to believe. And I wanted to believe that you loved me. I do. And the girl? I have no excuse to offer. But it's all over now. It would sound more believable in England. I shouldn't have thought that I would have lost my husband here in this place. I love you, Marion. Do you, Philip? to fetch Wishart. Did you know that Honga Tepe had seen you with her? You're a brave man, Philip. Oh, I forgot. I, I had a letter on the last ship from the headmistress of the school. The girls have made a little garden which they look after themselves. She says, it's very beautiful with the spring flowers coming out. How you must miss England when you remember how lovely it can be. Philip. Yes. I'm glad that we built this place together. No matter what has happened, or what may happen, I think that I have had more from life than most women. Marianne. I love you, my husband. I love the spirit in you, because it will last forever, as long as my own love lasts. Consider it, Avia. Right, lad. If you forgive, you have no remorse, no regrets. If you forgive. Can I give your hands a roll, then, ma'am? Thank you, Paddy. Ah, maybe. Maybe nothing will happen after all. I'm certain that. Our Ua brought about that peace treaty for one reason only. So that the other tribe can make war on us. 
Maybe so. But what's Hongi Tappy going to do when he finds out? What are the Uppity going to do? You have made peace. We are one. What are they going to do? They have gone to do what you should have done. Throw the Parker back into the sea. Tonight, you have betrayed me, Awarua. <laughs> to the house.
fight it. Yeah. <laughs> 